my heart was pounding out of my chest, like I couldn't breathe. I would have pain in my jaw, you know, just like in my jaw and up like here. I felt really anxious and scared. <laughs> and then, within 15 minutes, all of that would go away. And usually they would say, it's just anxiety, you know, or uh, you're having a panic attack or something like that. What actually happened to 35-year-old Crystal Anderson was real. Her heart was breaking, literally. I wouldn't call it common, but I wouldn't call it rare. Dr. Cynthia Bateman sees some men, but mostly women with stress cardiomyopathy or broken heart syndrome. These are women in their 20s, up into their 80s. They are not having a heart attack, which would involve a blocked artery. This damage is to the heart muscle in the left ventricle. This whole area of the heart isn't moving. You notice that? Yeah. See how it's not moving at all? I mean, it just looks like it's dead. Okay, very different than this part, which mm. is hyperdynamic. Mm. So there is something that happens that shocks the heart. It's stress. There are some women who have stressors that are extreme and lingering and build up. I think there's a lot that women sort of internalize and don't show. More often, it's a stressful incident, the death of a spouse, a bankruptcy, a break-in, that produces an excessive amount of adrenaline that shocks the heart. But the damage is not permanent. You get them on the right medicines, and within even 48 hours sometimes, you'll see that heart muscle get back to normal. Some people will take a couple longer, a couple more days. Crystal is doing better. She's walking up to five miles a day, can identify and react better to her stressors, like the anniversary of her grandmother's death. Medication blocks the adrenaline response to stress, so her heart muscle stays protected. It's healed completely, 100%. Yeah, 